Hello and welcome to So Gamer. The Custodian's Eye. Quite the interesting boss. It has quite a few attack patterns. I can highly recommend to shoot those little orbs that he releases. It's usually three of them. Because they're very, very annoying. They fly everywhere and they shoot at you. They just disturb you in your business of shooting the boss. <laughs> at one point, the middle part of the platform will be lowered. The custodian's eye will go to the middle and have lasers in random directions. And you need to stay on those like a somewhat darker with a silver lining platforms. This will make it possible for you to just avoid the laser and shoot him or keep shooting him. You just need to run and jump. Um, you will see it later. I believe this video shows pretty much all of his attack patterns. So it's going to be a really a good reference to understand like what he does. You just really need to learn to recognize what's going to happen next. Usually it's the purple laser and then he will have an attack pattern. Then purple laser, attack pattern, purple laser, attack pattern. Just what he's going to do is, yeah, you can recognize it on him telegraphing what's going to happen next. It's not a boss that asks a tremendous reaction time. You always get enough time to see, okay, so this is going to be the next attack pattern and then you can react to it. No need to panic or anything. In this fight, I'm using the Wrangler 1860 because I think it's a very good weapon for close to medium range. I have corrosive rounds on it. I have the MP60 with a Fargazer. It's just a boss where you can utilize these mods quite well. I have the Refunder build. I like to call it the Refunder build. It's Bandit, Refunder and Transference and the weapons. The build is Shinokami version three. All links and everything is in the description down below. Okay, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the fight, and I'll talk to you in a minute.
and that's the custodian's eye. So if this helps you to wipe that eye too, see what I did there? <laughs> then I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. That would help the channel out. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a nice day.